Hi, it's Karen from karengilbert.co.uk and I wanted to make this video tutorial for you today. I haven't done one for a while and it's this is for you if you are struggling with selling your products online because your website isn't ready yet. Maybe you have got a web designer working on it and it's just taking a bit too long. Maybe you just haven't even got to that place yet, but you've got stuff to sell and you want to just get moving with it, get some cash rolling in. Now, we're going to hop over to my computer in a moment, um, but what really, just to start with, I just this, this is a challenge that I've been seeing so much recently from my private clients. You know, they'll get, they'll get to a point where everything will be ready to go and it's like, oh, the website's not ready, so we can't move. Um, and I just, I just don't want you to have any stumbling blocks in your way. I want you to be able to get selling products and you really, it is an actual fa it's a fallacy that you need a website to sell product. Now, you may think I'm crazy for saying that, but the tip that I'm going to show you now as we go over to my computer is a piece of software that is totally free. You can do this on your own. You need no technical skills whatsoever and you can start selling without your website. So it can be this can be a temporary solution. So if you've got someone building a shopping cart for you, great. You can just do this in the meantime. If you don't have a shopping cart solution, you can add this to your website. This is what I do. So the, what I'm going to show you now is not is just say something that I actually use myself. And if you go to my website and look at shop, this is the software that I use that is on my site. The beauty of this is you don't actually need a website to use it. They give you a standalone URL that you can customize. So it can be a temporary measure or it can be a permanent solution. It's up to you. And you can even use it straight from your Facebook page as well. Now, I'll go over how to build a Facebook business page in another video. But just keep that in mind. You do not need a website to sell your products online and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's hop over to my computer and um, let's get going. Okay, so here we are at my website and I just wanted to show you first of all how you can add this to a website if you've got one already. So the purpose of this tutorial really is to show you that this can happen without a website but I'm just going to show you how it looks on my site first. If I go and click on my shop page, what you will see as it's loading is my online store. So this is on my WordPress site and I'll go into the website bit in, in future videos. But here you can see that I'm selling books and you know smelling strips that kind of thing. So you can add your products, um, you can add those to a basket and I'm just going to show you how, how this looks if it sits on a website. So there's my product, I've got, they're, they're in stock, I can add it to a bag and then I can either add more, continue shopping. Now this is powered by a company called Equid. Now this is the bit that I'm going to go through with you because you don't actually need to sit this on your own website. They give you a URL that is a standalone. And I'm just going to show you what mine is here. Okay, so you can see on this tab at the top, it says karengilbert.equid.com. Now, this isn't my website. This is something that Equid give you as a standard. So here you can see that I added a couple of things to the shopping bag from my website. So this is exactly the same thing as you're seeing on the website, but you don't actually need a website to um, to use it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go across to the Equid website itself and show you how to set that up for yourself. So here we are at Equid.com, which is the URL you need to go to to set up a brand new account. Now you can see here you can either sign up or you can log in. So we are going to sign up for a new account here. You press the sign up button. And this will take you to this page here. Now what you can see is my email address and my password is already loaded into there because I've got an account already. But what you want to be doing is either create my account, which is to set up a new one, 
And if you scroll down here, you can see you can sign up with PayPal or you can sign up with Facebook or Google. So if you don't want to put your name and email address in here, you can just if you just want to link it automatically with your PayPal account or your Facebook account, you can do that. Because I've got an account already, I'm not going to go through that, but you get the picture. You know, it's like signing up for anything else online. You put your name, email, and then you create a password and then you click create my account. So I am going to sign in. And this is going to show you the back end of the Equid control panel. So once you've signed up for your free account, this is what you're going to see. And it's going to take you to your dashboard. The main thing you want to do is you want to set up your catalogue. Now this is where all of your products sit, so you can see here that the products I've got on mine, I've got my books and I've got smelling strips and bottles. So I don't really use an e full e-commerce um, situation on my website because I don't really sell product that much. Um, I only really sell the products that I use in the classes and I have spare that people might want to buy. So I can hit hit this button here that says new product and I can just add a new product to that. So let's just do a test one. Now you can put a weight in here, you can add an image, whatever you like, and then we can add a description. So this is a test product. I'm not gonna put a weight in here. I am gonna put a price in, so we're gonna call that 10 pounds. And if you've got categories already set up, um, which you know I wouldn't worry too much about at the moment, but you can add a category. So um, if I've got books, equipment, and bottles, so I'm just going to add this to my books category, and then save and close. And here we go. You can see the new test product. So if I go to my online shop, if I just refresh that. go to my books category you'll see a test product here now I didn't add an image to it because you know we're just doing this as a really I want to keep this video really short and sweet um, but that's all you need to do and then you can add it to the bag now Equid has got you know a tray of tutorials on there so it will show you how to um, do all of this once you've got your free account um, if you wanted to add a new category so let me just quickly show you how to do that so if I wanted to add a new root category, I'm going to do test products here. Okay, I'm just going to type something in here. And I'm going to just save that. So if I go then to my store home, There we go, you can see a new category there. Now what I'm going to do is, because I added that test product to the category of books, I'm going to go back and change it. So here we go, in products. You can just click on that link there and it will bring that product up. Okay, so I can change the category here. So I'm going to just click on that button and put it in, take it out of books and put it in test products. Save and close. I'm going to go back to my shop. Now when I click on test products, that product is, is in that category. So this is a really quick and easy way to get your products up online. And as I said, you don't need to put this on a website. It's a standalone. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that now. So if you go to your main Equid dashboard and you have a look under general you'll see this drop down here where it says starter site I want you to click on that button starter site because I've already set this up um, but if you haven't set this up already you won't be seeing this so you, what you'll be seeing here on, on my screen is your starter site is karengilbert.equid.com 
So that was the URL that I showed you earlier. Now, if you haven't done this already, it will say set up my starter site now or something similar and you will be able to choose your URL so it will always be something.equid.com but you can choose what the beginning of that is so say for example I wanted to call it natural beauty products natural beauty maybe, uh, maybe we'll call it natural beauty we can save that there we go so now that's changed I'm gonna actually change that back just because I've already put that link out so I don't want to affect that so I'm just gonna call it Karen Gilbert Um, and that's that really. So that is the first bit to um, setting up your store. Now, if we go to my starter site, which is my standalone that's not attached to my website, you can see that it doesn't look very pretty. It just says Karen Gilbert Shop. Now, on here, you can actually, if you scroll right the way down, you can actually upload your own logo. So I haven't done this yet because I'm not really using it as a standalone. It's attached to my website, so I don't need to do that. But if you want to upload a logo that you've already got, you can do and host that on your starter site. So it's really, really easy. So now I'm going to show you how you can add that to your Facebook business page. Now, if you don't have a Facebook business page, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. But I just want to show you how easy it is because once you've got your standalone site, you, you're going to want to promote it on social media as many places as you can. So I'm just going to show you, this is my, um, my Facebook page here. So if you go to facebook.com slash karengilbert.co.uk, this is my Facebook business page, which is different to my personal profile. This is the one that I use for my business. Now, if you have a look at these tabs here and click on products, that will, you'll see something familiar. That will load my Equid shop. Now this, can you, so you can see here, so that we've added this test category and these test products. This is exactly the same as, this will be showing up on my website, this will be showing up on the standalone URL, and it will be on Facebook. So it's all completely, it's one thing, and it goes across the board. So I've added that to my Facebook page. So the way that you do that, I just want you to search for Equid on Facebook. So here we go. You go to the Equid business page. And because I've already set up my online store, you can see here it's, it's connected. Now, if you don't have this, you will be seeing something slightly different. So what it will ask you to do is connect it to your Facebook business page. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add it to, and so I've got another Facebook page that I use, I, I started it from the, the, the coaching um, that I was doing, and I've actually used, I use my natural beauty um, expert perfumery workshops page more, so I haven't connected it to that, but what I can do is I can connect that um, to, because it's it's linked in with my Facebook now, I can connect this store as well, so what I can do is either copy my store ID from the dashboard or I can sign up for another Equid account so obviously I'm not going to do that because I've got one but this is probably what you'll see so I would just want to quickly show you the final step so where you find your store ID so if we go back to the control panel so what we're going to need to do is go to your main dashboard here and if you look down and to the right on the screen what you're going to see is a store ID and then a number. Now what we're going to do is just copy that and then we're going to just paste it in here. And save. And I'm just going to go to open page. 
and then what you will see on your Facebook page is where you need to look for it is under the more tab so if you click that down you'll see that it's automatically added this little tab that says products so if you um, what we're going to do we want that products tab to be on top so we can do manage tab Okay, so you can see that that has added my store to the products tab. So one of the things I just wanted to mention about the Facebook um, products tab, if you're viewing this on a mobile phone or an iPad, unfortunately it doesn't support the products tab. So what you will need to do just to make sure that if you're promoting it on Facebook, you um, can, can reach your, your customers. What you would need to do is take your standalone URL, so your where I've got my KarenGilbert.equid.com, and copy and paste that, and then you can just paste that into a comment. Say, you know, for example, hi, check out my new store, and here's the URL. So you can just cut and paste that, and just remember to tell people in this post that if they need to access it on a mobile they will need to open that in their browser rather than through a Facebook app because unfortunately Facebook doesn't support third-party apps where payment is involved so that's just one of the glitches of Facebook and don't um, feel like you've done anything wrong if you can't see it it's just the way it works so the product tab is great to add to your Facebook page if people are viewing it on a computer but if they're going to be viewing it on mobile do make sure you give them this URL to cut and paste into their browser or you can send it out by email too. So it's as simple as that. So there is no reason why you can't get started straight away with that. And as I said before, if you've got a website already and you've got a shopping cart that you're completely happy with, just remember that this is here for a backup should your website go down for whatever reason. You know, there's no reason why you can't continue selling if you've got your own little standalone Equid store. Now, I don't, I don't get commission for this. So, <laughs> um, you know, there are loads of other standalone shopping carts out there. So, if you've got one that works for you, that's as easy as this, do let me know, and I will pass that on because I'm always looking for ways to help my clients keep it as simple as possible. The only reason I'm showing you this one is because it's one I use myself and um, I found it super easy even if you've got no tech skills. So I hope that tip was useful for you and there is nothing stopping you from selling online now. And if you do need my help, if you feel like you need someone to hold your hand through the process or any other aspect of your business, and you need that help urgently, I have one more spot left on my last quarter coaching package. So if that's of interest to you, drop me an email really quickly. As I said, I've got one spot left, karen at karengilbert.co.uk, or click the link below and that will take you straight to the page. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.